What's going on, everyone? Welcome to episode three of the film room. We're going to be taking a look at elite shooters, hunting shots, being able to relocate on the perimeter, creating better passing angles for their teammates uh, to knock down shots. So there'll be three main teaching points throughout this video, and some of it's repetitive. So I'll let the clips kind of play through, and I'll just talk as they go for the most part, especially towards the end after we've broken down a few of them. Uh, if you've liked the last two episodes, please hit the subscribe button. There'll be content dropping throughout the week, film breakdowns, workout videos, things that really help you guys, whether you're coaches or players, try to help you guys grow your IQ, your knowledge, and grow your game. So we'll get right into it. We got 23 here in the bottom right-hand corner. And she, as you can see, we're talking relocation here. Um, along the perimeter, just moving, for, you know, whether you're sliding up the line, if, you know, a few feet or a few inches or, you know, relocating from one spot to the other, just being able to read your defender and be doing a great job of uh, off ball movement. So basically, as you're relocating, like I said, creating a better, better passing angle for your teammate, but you're also creating uh, separation from your defender in the gap. So number three here, again, just disengage ball watching on this drive and again like not even great guarding position on the cover down here on the big in the dunker spot or in the short corner below the block so you can see how 23 just uh, slides up the line here better passing angle for her teammate number 14 has her hands and feet ready all of these shooters do a tremendous job with their shot preparation and if she would have stayed in that corner three even as disengaged as she was you know you know help side here she definitely would have been able to, you know, at least have more time to get back to be there on the catch if 23 stayed corner. But since she lifted or slid up the line here or filled filled up towards the wing, she's, you know, again, less time that ball has to be in flight, you know, further close out for number three. And again, for elite shooters, just plenty of time for them to get their shot off. Big teaching point is, you know, for players, you know, if any time they're off the ball and their teammate stops, Again, different situations, you know, rather than just always, you know, whether it's a middle drive, baseline drive, whatever it may be, anytime that ball stops, teammate gets plays off two and starts to get to a pivot. If your players just stand and watch or, or you're a player and you just stare, stare and watch at the basketball, um, again, you're going to force a bad pass out and then the offense, um, you know, does not continue the flow. So what you got to do a great job of. And this is something that I work, I tell my players that I work with all the time is that you guys got to continue to move. And that doesn't just mean, you know, one person. That means everyone that's on the perimeter. So you can see how all three girls here relocate or move. And again, 22 just does a good job of seeing, you know, since her defender is the one engaged here. And just again, she her defender here, number 14, knows where the ball is, but she doesn't know where uh, her matchup is. And again, her, you can see her hands up thinking that, uh, you know, the girl here for Iowa, you know, that's driven is going to have to lo you know, lob or loft the pass over the top. But since, again, Caitlin Clark, number 22 for Iowa, does a great job of just a quick slide or a quick relocation, better passing angle, hands and feet ready. Her shot preparation is tremendous. And again, elite shooter is in rhythm to knock that down. A hand in the face does not, you know, does not bother them at all, especially, you know, for shooters that shoot at a high percentage. So, um, again, then that's exactly what we're seeing here. So again, Corey Kispert here, just a quick slide here on this baseline drive. And you can see number 13 covers, starts to cover down. Number four is trying to contain the ball. And then you got number three here trying to split two. Jalen Suggs in the corner and Kispert here on the wing. And if Kispert just stays right there and does not move, this pass is most likely, you know, it's a different type of pass. It's not a snap. It's the, the, his teammates not snapping the ball. He's probably lobbing a little bit, you know, over the top of number three's head. And again, Kisper may have a chance for a knockdown shot or attack a closeout, but since he is he slides just a tad bit, that where that pass can now be snapped and he can be in rhythm, it creates a knockdown shot for Kisper. Same thing here. I'm not going to butcher number 11's name for Creighton. Again, he's a hell of a player. But what he does well here is just a great relocation here to the corner. You know, what you guys call a baseline drive and drift. Is just able to get there. Again, you can see how the ball just gets, uh, you know, defenders and help side. They gravitate toward it, gravitate towards it. Their eyes are, you know, locked in on the ball. They get caught ball watching. And once that passes out, just too late for number zero to get there. And again, number 11 has a rhythm shot. 
You got a ball screen here, and again, it's a little late. A little late, not a traditional ball screen, but they're still able to get into this ball screen where number four rolls here for Arkansas. And now the read is here, especially for number 23 here in the corner, is to lift. So she's just, the ball handler is reading the tag. And since the tag goes, pulls in, she throws back. And what I like to tell players a lot is you have to have urgency, especially in a side pick and roll situation. If you're in the corner, you have to have urgency to lift up because that ball you do not want that ball being thrown back you know you don't want to you don't want a lot of time with that ball in flight on the throwback because then it probably you know potentially gives you know especially number five here for Missouri potentially gives her more time to recover so 23 does a good job of you know having urgency to lift up here and again gets her hands and feet set and gets an open shot so again the teaching points here good off ball movement reading their defenders in the gaps, and then their shot preparation is tremendous. Paige Buchers, her defender just kind of stays, at, you know, stays at home, stays in the middle, doesn't pull in. So Buchers just kind of stays there on the wing and doesn't move. Again, not, the pass will not be there. So the fact that she's able to drift creates that separation from her defender. And again, lead shooter, hands and feet ready, and knock down the shot. A little drive, drive here towards the middle on the kick out. And you see Sugg starts to probe, recognizes Kispert here, just sliding down. You can see, again, the ball, you know, this is in transition, so it's not a tremendous transition defense here. So just a quick slide. And, again, the slide, the, you know, the urgency to be able to get into this corner, you can just recognize all the space, you know, the separation that he's going to have just, you know, by making that move to the corner or relocating to the corner. Instead of staying here on the wing, you know, again, pass could probably be made here by Suggs to Kispert here on the wing. But again, it probably buys these guys some time to be able to get there. So Kispert just knows where the space is. Give, you know, again, it's a further pass, but, you know, plenty of time for him to get his feet set and lift into a shot. Again, just a good slide away. Again, they just do a good job, you know, whether you're an elite shooter, you know, or really good players, you know, that have the ability to attack closeouts or even, you know, knock down shots at a pretty good percentage. You know, being able to move and relocate the different spots, be able to read your defender in the gap, it's huge. You got to be able to recognize that. It's simple stuff, you know, that's going to make you effective, whether you're in high school, middle school, or even at the college level. And just simply being able to do these things is, is huge. I, I can't emphasize it enough. I've spent a ton of time, you know, just working these relo relocations and workouts, practices, and then, you know, getting the reps and then getting, you know, working on some short sided games where, you know, your players have to make decisions. And then if you're a player watching this, again, just see the, you know, just see the detail in terms of how these guys read the floor, you know, off the ball, how they are able to have urgency moving to different spots to create their separation. And then again, their shot preparation, getting into their shots is just a tremendous job that all the players in this, these, uh, these clips do. Again, just a tremendous job. We'll slide away, creating space, being in rhythm to knock down shots. 